Good evening, Toastmasters and dear guests. I welcome you all for the 840th meeting of the Chennai Toastmasters Club. The, the mission of Chennai Toastmasters Club is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in, in which members are empowered to develop communication skills and leadership qualities, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. Before moving into meeting, I would like to brief certain rules to be followed throughout the meeting. Please keep your mobile phone on silent mode. Do not talk the three topics, which is sex, religion, and politics. If you have any message to, to be conveyed, please communicate to me. Those are online, please come in, use the chat box to communicate. With this, I would like to hand over the meeting to our presiding officer, our club president, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana. Lakshmi Narayana, the, the stage is yours. So good evening, everyone. Good evening, Toastmasters, guests, and my dear friends. Exactly 74, 75 years back, the same day, the midnight, when all the Asian countries were sleeping and we have been celebrating because of our freedom. We got independence from British rule the same day, the same night, 75 years back. So we are going from tomorrow, we are going to celebrate 76th Independence Day. So on that note, I wish you all a happy Independence Day in advance. Here you are. So let's celebrate this freedom because most of us, at least I'm not, I was not born uh, in that time. We were all born after independence. So though we don't know what was happening at that time, but we, we, we understood from the stories or narrations from our elders in those days, we should appreciate all the struggles they faced to get this independence. So let's do our best to keep up this freedom in the right way and use the freedom in the, in the very right way as possible. So with that note, uh, I formally declare open the Chennai Toastmasters Club meeting, meeting number 840. So I would like to recognize the presence of our uh, distinguished Toastmaster Nina Janbam, who was the past medical chair and the current uh, parliamentarian. And uh, our past C4 director, distinguished Toastmaster uh, Venu Nilagandan. And our current area director for area C1, uh, Toastmaster Abhilash. I welcome you all. I just want to quickly check if we have any guests in the meeting. Okay. Uh, so I don't see any guests now. We have one. Mukundan. Manihandan. We have Mukundan, right? Uh, so good evening, Mukundan. I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry to keep you wait, uh, waiting for so long. So can you briefly introduce yourself? Uh, I am Manihandan. Hello. I am. Hello. Yeah. Yes, Mugan. Uh, yeah. Money handan. I am money handan. Oh, money handan. Yes. I am currently working in uh, TVS uh, Sundaram Industries as a production manager. Okay. Uh, since I am very lagging in communication and leadership skill, so I found uh, I I found uh, Postmasters is a best platform to learn and uh, develop my leadership skill. Uh, so I am here. I am very thankful to Mr. Uh, Sarath, uh, uh, Sarath sir, to guide me to join this meeting. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. So you please continue this meeting. You'll enjoy this meeting. I'll get back to you again by the end of the meeting to okay. get your feedback. Okay. Thank you. So thank that you. note, uh, I think we are. It's time to start the meeting. So let me uh, introduce the uh, master of ceremony and the first master of the day, uh, Sarath, who is a research scholar in IIT Madras and uh, was a very active toastmaster, master, current EP membership as well. I invite toastmaster master uh, Sarath to take over the stage as toastmaster master of the day. Thank you, presiding officer. Every Toastmaster meeting will have a theme. So since tomorrow we are going to celebrate our Independence Day, the theme of today's meeting is Independence Day. I wish all the 
audience happy independence day so in throughout this meeting i will be sharing some facts related to our independence day and some information some other information to begin with for the benefit of guests guess let me uh, tell every toastmasters meeting will have three sections number 1 prepared speech session number 2 table topic section and number 3 evaluation section and uh, we know our tricolor has three parts can anyone tell what each color represents uh, saffron represents sacrifice courage white represent peace green represent fertile so let's compare every toastmasters meeting similarly has three parts the first part is the prepared speech session prepared speakers here every speaker needs courage to take in roles they need to sacrifice their time preparing script sending into mentors practicing all those stuff so that's the first part we have moving on to the third part the third part is the evaluation section for fertile for every speaker to fertile in in his uh, speaking skills he needs a strong suggestion from a senior toastmasters so that's what we are going to witness in the third section that is the evaluation section which represent the fertility moving on to the middle part why i shifted this to the end is it is totally opposite the white color of a tricolor represent peace purity but here it is totally opposite it's not truth it's lies you can tell whatever comes in your mind and i'm sure when tt session start you will not be at peace everyone will be there will be some butterflies running in your stomach and uh, that's that's all that's what we are going to witness today the three parts so to begin our meeting now it's time for me to introduce the idiom master of the day today's idiom master is idiom master is toast master rajalakshmi Toast Master Radha Lakshmi is a correspondent in News Seven uh, Television Channel, and she delivers breaking news uh, and updates from our city of Chennai for the development of a state. And when I asked her about who is the famous freedom fighter uh, she liked the most, she told uh, Tandey Periyar. And when I asked the reason, she told uh, he liked his rationality, rational way of thinking, and that's how that's why she admired her. So without much ado. Please join me in welcoming uh, the idiom master of the day, Toast Master Radha Lakshmi, in the online stage. Toast Master Radha Lakshmi, you are on mute. I'm audible now. Yes. Yeah. So thank you, Toast Master Sarath Kumar. Uh, so uh, to everyone, Happy Independence Day, Advance Happy Inde uh, Independence Day. Uh, as he Uh, toastmaster as he said already like uh, uh, everybody miss out tande periya in a freedom fight but for me he also made a lot of contribution uh, behalf of tamil nadu so in the point in the view point of tamil nadu we must just remember periya uh, in a freedom struggle also that's why i have mentioned that also so today my task is to uh, speak about the idiom and give me a second that i will share you the screen of uh, my idiom photo just in a second Uh, Toastmaster, uh, I'm audible. Yes, yes, Toastmaster. Uh, uh, Toastmaster, Toastmaster Narish, can you please share that uh, screenshot that I have shared with you because I'm unable to get this through my phone actually. Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, to whom have you shared the uh, photo, Raj Lakshmi? Uh, Nabeen, I guess. Wait, I will share. I will share. Yeah. Yeah, I think now we are able to see your. Yeah, screen. yeah, yeah. And sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you. And then, yeah, today is the idiom of the quote is "cry over split." Uh, might have every everybody has uh, uh, heard about this, but 
uh, cry over spill, which means to regret something that has already happened or cannot be changed. So uh, the thing is like, uh, uh, this happened in my uh, like a personal experience. One of my friend was sad because he had burned his bread toast in a, in a just in a trip incident, this is. So I, but I told him, there is no use crying over split milk and to make some more. So then, uh, then we can move towards the uh, next path in the life. So that is the idiom of the day. Postmaster Sharath, we are not able to hear you. Just check whether you are uh, it's on mute. Okay, I'm able to now, now I'm able to hear you. So now let, so me, now let me introduce. Good evening, once again. again. The role of the role general, of general evaluator, evaluator is evaluate, evaluate everything, everything happens during, during the meeting. meeting. And provide, and provide feedback, feedback at the end of the, the, end meeting, of the meeting so that so we, can, we improve can improve what we, what we, what we, can. What we can. In addition, In addition the, role of, the role of the general level general level 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 is to have conduct the, the evaluation part of the, meeting. Part of the meeting. To, to conduct so the, to the, conduct the evaluation part, we have we two have teams. teams. One is the tag team, timer, counter, grammarian. Then the then second the part. The, the proper speech, speech evaluators, evaluators I will interview in the later, later part of the meeting. I would like, I would to, call like the, to call the, the tag the players, players, players to introduce, to introduce uh, and, uh, and present the, the, present the objective, of their, objective of their roles. So timer, so timer and the all counter and both, all counter both will be taken by Abilash. Abilash, please. please. <coughs> Thank you so much, you Toastmaster Pandishami. A very warm good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Being on time is always something really wonderful. And even though we have some unforeseen issues, it is my commitment to ensure that we are going to finish on time. So, as timer today, I'll be keeping a tag of the minutes that you speak. For prepared speeches, a minimum of five minutes and a maximum of seven minutes. And for table topics, we'll be given time of minimum of one minute and a maximum of. And you will be given a maximum of two minutes. So, um, evaluation should be conducted for two to three minutes. So this is for the time of it. Now, let me move on to our count. So, even though we are celebrating our independence, in Toastmasters, when can we say that we are truly independent? We can say that we are truly independent only when our speakers are free of these words, as, ums, and buttons, which come in inadvertently. So today I'll be noting down the four words used to and back to you. Thank you, Abhinav. Now I request Grammarian Toastmaster Kalvat to present his role objectives. Toastmaster Kalvat. 
good evening moderator uh, and good evening today i am playing the role of marian this will help me to improve grammar listening skill and evaluation my first responsibility is to the word of the day today's word of the day is happening it stands for something or represent in human form for example during this pandemic situation we have to stand for something which will help the society the second example when the soldier wrote the letter to his wife he hoped it would incorporate all the love he felt for my second responsibility is to identify the grammatical usage and wrong meaning i will submit my report when called upon by the jayantar evaluator thank you so much thank you toastmaster kalwat with this i would like to hand over to toastmaster of the day sharath thank you general evaluator now before we move on to the first part of the meeting uh, let's see some questions facts about our independence so the first question is very simple we all know are we going to celebrate the 75th or 76th independence day 75th 76th 76th yeah so when i was seeing first time everywhere i was seeing the logo 75 75 75 but uh, truly it is the 76th independence day and from august 40 1947 to till today we have finished 75 years of independence and that's why we are celebrating 75th but this is actually 76th independence day so that's the first thing and moving on why on august 15th truly speaking we got uh, the lord mountbatten uh, gave us the freedom july itself 1947 but why wait till august 15 is there any reason behind that uh, any guesses or there is a reason on august 15th uh, two years back in 1945 the japan surrendered to allied forces any the world war 2 and that's the reason why lord mountbatten waited till this day particular day so that uh, you will give freedom on august 15 to india as well so the august 15 is a day in which not only india is celebrating it's also the day at which the countries like republic of congo korea from japan uh, bahrain and then lanchestein so all these countries celebrates independence day on the same day august 15 but are different years so the the day august 15 has a significance right so with this we'll move on to the first part of the meeting now i like to call the first speaker of the day before calling the first speaker i like to uh, request the evaluator to read out the proud report toastmaster srikan prediction good afternoon everybody thank you toastmaster of the day this afternoon toastmaster guru ayarappan is presenting his project 2 level 1 from dynamic leadership the objectives of a speech is for toastmaster guru ayarappan to practice apply feedback and serve as a speech evaluator during a club meeting and the next objective is to present a speech and receive feedback from the evaluator time given for toastmaster guru ayarappan is 5 to 7 minutes wish you all the very best toastmaster guru ayarappan back to the toastmaster day thank you thank you toastmaster srikant to introduce toastmaster guru ayarappan uh, he is working in infosys as senior associate consultant he loves uh, listening to music particularly particularly he loves the music of yesudas ilayaraja and madhuri dikshit and he loves the freedom fighter wow see we watch number na and tirupur kumaran the most due to uh, their brave bravery so without much ado please join me in welcoming the first prepared speaker of today toastmaster guru ayarappan Health is well, those must be good. 
टोस्ट मास्टर गुरु आयर अपन हेल्थ इस पर March 23, 2013, around 8 p.m. When I reached home, I saw my wife saw showed me a mail. My friend Kundi Cheri Chidambaran passed away due to respiratory issues. I was very, I very shocked because two days back when I spoke to him, he said he is not well, but he is confident of returning well to the home. But after two days, I could hear only his news of his death. Then. came another blow in my life 4th august 2014 my cousin vivek he is 20 was 26 years old at this time who got married in july to june 2012 and who had a baby just 6 months back before his death has passed away and i got at early morning 1 o'clock when i saw the news a message my uh, my cousin mahesh has sent me the message i was totally shocked and immediately called him at morning 4 o'clock when i saw the message Uh, he said, "Yes, he is no more." Dear Toastmasters, Toastmasters of the day and guests, very good evening to all of you. Are we really giving importance to our health? Honestly speaking, no. We are not giving that much importance to health as we are giving, uh, as we are supposed to give. Yes, I agree that we need wealth to survive this world. But wealth alone is not going to suffer you. If you are not going to take care of our health. then what is the point in earning money and spending money so it is total waste so if you don't concentrate on your health now coming to the case of uh, kunniseri chidambaram he had some wheezing problems he knows he had wheezing problems but unfortunately what happened is he used to take medication of his own even without consulting doctor which resulted in severe respiratory and lung diseases which caused his untimely death so now coming to the case of my cousin vivek who used to frequently fall ill but unfortunately he ignored his health which led to cancer which led to his ultimate untimely death and of course he was working in a chemical company which aggravated his uh, diseases so which uh, which is also one of the reason which aggravated cancer which led to his death now these two incident shows one thing two things which we are doing is self medication which is which we need to avoid self medication in some cases may help but it, in reality it will definitely not help and it will it is not advisable for anyone to follow the same my father used to tell me he used to walk a lot of distances and uh, do all sort of exercises and works so that's why they are remaining fit now, even nowadays even at the age of 80 he is uh, walking and he is carrying weight despite having surgery in spine he is walking he is physically fit He is fitter than me. Let me tell you one thing. I scored a century. My weight was 125, and when in 2017, believe me or not, it was true. But after severe exercise, walking, my health, I concentrated on my health. Now it come to 86, which is still 16 kgs, which I need to reduce. I am working on that. Now I started giving importance to my health by doing yoga and uh, walking, primarily walking. so friends i again reiterate don't go for self medication self medication is a dangerous thing which can cause uh, severe problems as i told you in my previous cases my brother's case as well as in my friend's case so what we need to do is we if we follow these three things diet exercise and eight hours sleep if we concentrate on these three then i am sure we can lead a happy healthier and peaceful life now coming to the diet diet means nowadays we are frequently going for junk foods like pizza burgers yes i am not against it but having once in a two months or three months that is fine but nowadays kids are having it as lunches so it's very sad to see that uh, condition that they are given the parents are encouraging it so that is a first thing which we need to concentrate as part of our health improvement so diet is a one thing which we need to work on it number 2 exercise exercise need not be very severe i am not suggesting that you should go to gym always very simple exercise walking jogging cycling swimming if possible so all these are the simple exercise in my case i followed walking and yoga 
so that helped me reduce my weight so i suggest follow do air exercises uh, as you wish if we are cycling cycling or walking or swimming whatever be it but concentrate on one thing and do the follow it very severely and strictly severely and seriously it will uh, improve your health now coming to sleep why i should say sleep is 8 hours sleep is mandatory and i i always suggest and i also suggest have less food during night because during night our body remains idle so it, that will that be no activity so having less food uh, will help us uh, digest uh, will help in digestion problems will overcoming digestive problems uh, and also overcome obesity and overweight also so my suggestion is please follow re regular diet exercises and sleep for 8 hours but unfortunately what happens nowadays is in it companies uh, many people who are, who are working in bpos they are not following diets properly they are having time at in and, and they are having breakfast at uh, breakfast lunch dinner at uh, irregular times they are spoiling their health so in that case what i suggest you have to split the lunch into five or six times have minimum lunch say some snacks like so green bengal gram green gram soda or something like that every two hours or three hours then i will sleep uh, possible uh, during night time at least uh, two to three hours so that you can overcome all the health related issues so friends let me ask you one thing how many of you are there supporting me that health is wealth please raise your hand okay thank you health is our real wealth so now it is time for me to concentrate on my wealth so let's join together let's take a pledge on our 75th independence day that we will concentrate on health and doing exercise properly over to you to sponsor of today thank you so much sir thank you toastmaster guru arapan for telling that beautiful message and uh, inspiration inspiring journey of reducing your weight from 125 kg to 86 kg thank you so much now it's time for us to witness the second speaker of today today uh, before calling the second speaker i would like to request a evaluator dtm nina john to read out uh, his project objectives no hello can you hear me dtm venu nilakantan is doing a repeat of his project in from the visionary communication pathways level 5 connect with storytelling connect with storytelling and uh, the title is radiant love beyond the radcliffe li line radiant love beyond the radcliffe line <laughs> to the dtm venu nilakanth so to introduce dtm venu dtm venu is working in airport authority of india and he was the past president of our chennai to smarts club and past area c4 director and we all know he is a good reader because he speaks a lot of knowledge and we have seen a status of putting beautiful paintings and now today i saw his wallpaper as a karate master so he is a person who is learning lot of i can't say one or two so such a enthusiastic and purposeful toast master so without much ado you please join me in welcoming the second speaker of the day dtm venu nilaga DTM Venu Nilakandar, radiant love beyond Radcliffe line, radiant love beyond Radcliffe line. DTM Venu Nilakandar. Good evening, all. Wish you all happy Independence Day. but if you dig deep the into indian history 
do not be in dilemma whether it is 75th independence day or 76th independence day we will be in dilemma whether we should celebrate the independence day or we should mourn for the lives we lost on the day because on the same day 1947 august 15 around 3 o'clock a train came from pakistan around 3000 dead bodies there's a message pasted on the train this is a gift for nehru and patel so what history and says that celebration of independence overshadowed the violence of partition they estimated that more than 75000 ladies were kidnapped and gang raped sainab was one among them sainab was 18 years old when she was abducted from the moving train towards the pakistan and she was gang raped somehow she managed to escape from the mob and she took asylum at puta singh this puta singh is a 40 years old ex serviceman just looking at sign up to understand what might have happened to her so he wanted to save the girl so he encountered the angry mob who were searching sign up and he somehow pacified them by paying 1500 at that time so now sign up had no other place to go and she had no other option so she decided to stay with puta singh in due course of time despite their age difference they fell in love and they got married within a year they got a beautiful daughter so everyone was happy puta singh was happy sign up was happy the little girl was happy but The Pakistan Commission came to know that Sainab was a uh, Pakistan girl. She was supposed to be in Pakistan. There was an agreement between India and Pakistan at that time. Those ladies and kids who were separated from the family during the partition should be reunited with their family members. According to that agreement, Sainab was taken away from Puta Singh. Puta Singh pleaded the Pakistan Commission, please give back my wife, but it was rejected. But Sainab promised that she would come back and they are going to live the happy life again. Puta Singh was waiting for almost a year; nothing happened. So he converted into Islam, believing that he would get get the Pakistan citizenship, but it was outrightly denied. Now he applied for a visa that was also denied. now without any option he sold out all his property and without any permission he migrated to pakistan along with his daughter illegally he went to lago sirpur village where sign up was living the moment he went to sirpur village he was shell shocked because he came to know that sign up had been married to another person one of her cousins again he went to the family and Leader, please give back my wife. He was beaten brutally, and he was handed over to police for illegal migration. Migration, and he was produced to the Lahore High Court. The magistrate was a noble man. After hearing the story of Buta Singh, he wanted to help that man. So he summoned sign up to come to the court and give her testimony. It was February twenty second, nineteen fifty four. Sainam, along with her family members, came to the uh, Lahore High Court. Sainam was here. Buddha Singh was here, along with his daughter. The judge asked Sainam, "Sainam, do you know this man?" Sainam looked the Buddha Singh. Buddha Singh, after missing her for a long time, looking at her with a so enthusiastic glance, is he is looking at her. they were talking through their eyes and sign up said yes he is my first husband the judge again asked sign up this man wants you go back to india along with him do you want to go with him everyone was so eagerly waiting to what sign up is going to say sign up looked at putas Puta Singh was so eagerly looking at her lips for the favorable reply. 
Yes, he's going to say yes. But there was a dead silence. Again, the judge asked, Sign up, do you hear me? Do you want to go with him or not? Again, Sign up looked at this Buddha Singh and said, No. This man was devastated after hearing this reply. He didn't expect this. Yes, he thought she would say yes. So now he was struggling and he pleaded the judge, my Lord, at least let her take this little girl who was missing her mother for years, who was longing for her mother's love, be the custodian of this little girl. The judge again asked, Sign up, do you want to be a custodian of this little girl? Now again, sign up looked at the little girl, tear was rolling down. This little girl with her big eyes who was missing her mother for years, wanted a hug, waiting for the favorable play. But again, there was a disruptive silence. Judge again asked, sign up, say yes or no. Now, Sign up, looked at the baby and looked at her relatives and said, no, this man, Buddha Singh stood there as a statue, staring at the ceiling. After a moment, without uttering a single word, he took the baby and walked away. It was later, the judge let him go. On the way, the little girl asked Buddha Singh, Papa, you said that Bamu would come with us. Why she is not coming? Buddha Singh, wiping his tears away, said, I don't know, dear, I don't know. But you should understand one thing. Hereafter, you are not going to see your mother. The mother is not going to see you. This little girl shook her head as if she understood everything. They just started walking. Again, this little girl asked where we are going. Buddha Singh said, far away from your mother. They went to the, the Thrasad railway station. They were waiting for the train. Hearing the train sound, along with the other passenger, Buddha Singh took the baby's hand and went to the platform. The train was moving inside. In a fraction of a second, the Buddha Singh jumped in front of the train. Miraculously, this little girl escaped. But the man who gave everything for the love, who gave his religion, who gave his citizenship, who gave his entire property, was into pieces. The railway authority gathered the entire body and they found a letter, a blood stain letter. It read, it was addressed to sign up. Sign up, I love, you know how much I loved you. But the moment you said that you are not coming with me, I didn't find any reason to leave. Have only one last piece. Please bury my body near to your home. Whenever you happen to visit the graveyard, put a flower on my grave. Unfortunately, that last wish was not fulfilled because of the, because the family vehemently opposed that. Now the little girl, as per a report, is living in Syria, but we had no idea about what happened to sign up. So 74 years ago, we got freedom. Radcliffe divided two nations. He not only divided two nations, he divided many hearts. Happy independence to all of you. Thank you so much, DTM Venuran Lagandan. It was not a speech, it was like a movie. Thank you so much, it's a beautiful message. Okay, so this comes to the, this makes our first part of the meeting comes to an end. Now it's time for us to witness the second part of the meeting. Your piece is uh, going to be stolen, be ready. It's TT session. Uh, for conducting this session, I'd like to call Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayanan.
Toastmaster Lakshmanarayanan is a software engineer by profession and he is uh, our current president of Chennai Toastmasters Club. He loves trekking and long driving. When I ask about who is the most admiring uh, freedom fighter he admires the most, he's, he told Gandhi, uh, the father of nation. So without much ado, please join me in welcoming the TT master of the day, Toastmaster Lakshmanarayanan. Thank you. Thank you. Just give me some time. Good evening once again. Good evening to us masters and guests. And now I'm taking hat as a table topic master today. Table topic is a session where you all get an uh, opportunity, especially the non-role players. And today, owing to the crowd, we may call upon the role players also after calling role players, non-role players. This is an opportunity where you can exhibit your uh, impromptu communication skills. So what I do is like, uh, I'll come out with a question, maybe a quotes as well. Uh, most likely, I'll try to fit onto the theme today as an Independence Day theme. So I'll ask you a question and I'll randomly pick audience here. So you have to come and speak in front, uh, in front. Maybe if you're online, if you have to come speak in front of the camera, it will be better if you turn on your camera as well. So we have to speak for one minute to get qualified uh, for voting. So at one minute, you'll be, they will be shown a green light. And that you have to finish it by two minutes. So by, by two minutes, you'll be shown a red light. And you'll be a period of 30 seconds to wind up your speech with the proper begin, body, and end. So as you all know, this table topic session is there. It hel helps you to... Uh, improve your uh, planning skill, uh, uh, thinking skills, listening skills, and the delivery skills as well. So please take it as an opportunity and volunteer, volunteer yourself so, and make sure to talk at least for one minute and maximum for uh, two minutes. To begin with, let me start with a Toastmaster who is there uh, today. I don't know whom I should call. Okay. Uh, is anyone uh, would like to volunteer from here? <laughs> Can I, like, is there anyone like okay, let me see anyone. so uh, toastmaster nagendra are you there yes yes president yes. so this is a, a topic relevant to uh, 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 our independence day it's a very simple topic with freedom comes great responsibility. With freedom comes great responsibility. Over to you, Toastmaster Nagin Tabaradi. Yeah, thank you. President, Toastmaster, Lakshmi Narayana, TT Master. Freedom comes with a lot of responsibilities. Yes. We know that uh, this freedom we got it by shedding a lot of blood and a lot of tears. So we are having a lot of responsibility to keep this freedom, to protect this freedom. We have seen many countries where the freedom was fought and bought and then lost. There are many examples in the world. But even after 75 years, we are retaining the same spirit, the same spirit of unity in diversity and the same spirit which our flag says, sacrifice, peace and prosperity through the colors of saffron, white and green. So we have to maintain, to maintain that same sacrifice, the spirit of sacrifice, the spirit of prosperity, the spirit of peace. We should know our responsibility. <clears throat> Definitely, there are problems in our country. We cannot, we have to accept that. We cannot just reject that. Because our country is full of people of different religions, different castes, different colors, different creeds, different languages. So with that type of country, what is required is, the oneness of we all Indians, we all belong to India. 
we need to be united to make our country as a big big country in the world let us do for that let us have that responsibility thank you over to you, tt master thank you to smart and agendra bharati yes uh, india is a world with multiple uh, culture multiple religions and uh, there is unity among diversity and along with it with the freedom comes the great responsibility as well i okay uh, thank you for that and now let me refer for another speaker from online as well is there any volunteer there raju lakshmi do you want to take a table topics i am not able to okay thanks okay it's going to be very simple topic uh, what do you do during uh, independence holidays during your childhood what do you do during independence day holiday during your childhood Uh, Rajalakshmi, we are not able to hear you. You are on mute. Okay, still not able to. Uh, can you remove your headphones and try, please? We are not able to hear you, Rajalakshmi. Okay. Uh, until you set up your mic, shall we move on to the next speaker? If possible. Very fast, not there. Is there online? Ah, uh, Renuka, are you are you there to take up a table topic? Hi, Renuka. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. Uh, no, Rajiv. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll pick someone from here. Okay. So we have close master Palni Sami here. Very, very simple topic. Who is your favorite freedom fighter and why you like him? good evening to all my favorite freedom fighter is uh, the father of nation our nation mahatma gandhi the reason the two reasons for this one is he followed the path of ahimsa and even before that uh, i have to explain the background why i like him he could have lived a comfortable life uh, by being a lawyer you know he studied law so he could have continued as a successful profession as a lawyer without any struggles but when he faced the humiliation in south africa he chose that my my country also suffering like this my people also suffering like this i should do something about this then he made his life a purposeful one by becoming a freedom freedom fighter then he followed the path of ahimsa which is non violence then he continued till we got the independence if he he was a selfish person he could have took any any leadership role he could have easily become prime minister of india but he chose not to become so which shows that the intention behind the action was very clear he did not choose the the freedom fighting as an option as a possibility to become a leader of the country so he he rejected he will not become the prime minister or any any the leading position in the country so that is the reason i like him the most thank you thank you just for the pollen sami yeah uh, though we have seen many leaders uh, gandhi is one of the unique leader for 
leading us through non violence movement i think that is what helping us to live in this world with the, the unity among diversity uh, thank you so much uh, responsible police hmm? yeah uh, raja rashmi yeah can you hear me yeah thank you so much i'm audible now yes so i I'm, i'm going back to the same question i asked you so what do you do during independence day holidays during your childhood thank you to master lakshmi uh, du- uh during my uh, childhood independence day first of all i will wake up very earlier as much as possible because i always uh, eager to attend my uh, school flag hoisting uh, uh, functions and all so i am the first person who used to enter the uh, enter the school premises to attend the function and then uh, i am so happy to uh, just uh, sing the uh, sing our national anthem also Uh, so after that obviously they will give me the chocolates and then uh, mostly i will collect uh, once i start from the school i will just i i won't go uh, i mostly won't go directly to my home uh, in between that time i will just uh, try to attend another attend another flag hoisting uh, functions also for example i will just go to my uh, street um, street flag hoisting functions and then i will go and uh, attend my uh, uh, some other uh, flats flats flag, uh, flag hoisting function so i i try to attend as much as possible flag hoisting functions in my childhood after that once i reached my home uh, i will uh, just get fresh up and then i will uh, try to uh, i will try to watch as much as as much as independence day movies and sun uh, sun tv and then ktv then vijay tv so i will i will enjoy throughout the day with uh, movies and then some uh, delicious food that my mother prepared up for me that day then after in the evening time uh, i will go to my relative home because most of my relative homes are uh, near to my home only so i will just directly go and uh, just try to chill with uh, with my cousins then uh, in the end of the day uh, again i will watch the television because in uh, evenings and all they will uh, uh they will uh, just tell us some good movies uh, some good uh, hit movies in recent time the, uh, so i will watch the movies then i will try to spend time with as much as time with my uh, friends in a ni- uh, night periods thank you um, uh to uh, master rajesh rajeshwi yeah it was very similar to what i had but it's uh, my my case it was like uh, we used to get holiday we have to stay in our village But there will be flag flag hoisting in our village. We uh, the very important part is we get that orange mitai. I don't know how many people remember that. <laughs> uh, one way that's a mitai which uh, now even if I see that mitai reminds me of Independence Day. Uh, then one way they are motivating us to learn more about our freedom struggle as well. Uh, thank you. And now uh, I want to see is there any guest uh, guest Amruta would like to take a topic. Say yes, sir. Sure, sir. thank you uh, do you want a very simple topic okay sir uh. okay okay it's very simple it's an, it's an imaginary concept uh, if we were a uh, leader during uh, our freedom struggle uh, what what would you do to get freedom from british reign is it simple for you just uh, an imaginary yes. situation if you are a leader during are uh, fighting for freedom so what would you do to get freedom from british rule hi a very good evening to fellow toastmasters and friends so if i were a leader during the british period first i would uh, help towards the uh, or is it uh, freedom for women because right now if i think compared to the uh, era of 1900s to 2000 i think the 2000 to, to the that is the 21st century is becoming a very unsafe place for women i i personally believe that because like each and every time a girl you are a woman if she travels abroad or she or if she is within her own country she faces many domestic or any other kind of physical abuses so if it was at that time i would have uh, st- started a particular movement particularly for women to not get indulged in any kind of uh, uh, abuses as of such so i would have uh, thought for that and i would have uh, strive for education so education even though many people are uh, actually educated i don't think uh, education has reached the uh, zenith in our country till now many people are at uh, they are illiterate they are not they don't know like what is uh, what is the they don't have the real knowledge to sustain in any work environment or what may be so i would have uh, also fought for um, what is that education and of course poverty this is something that is uh, that is prevailing in many of the countries and we can't do anything about it so for poverty i would have made sure that if all food or basic necessities or be it other uh, 
uh, necessities like uh, clothing, the shelter, everything should be available to the very poor and needy. It shouldn't be like only the rich class people should make use of it. Even the poor class people should be made use of this. So I would have put my level best level efforts to strive for these three things. Thank you. Thank you, Mutha. Wonderful speech. From the speech, I understand it's not a, a, a freedom struggle. Or you're trying to help people from the 1947 era. You're trying to help people from this era itself. Because yes, most sir. of this... Sir, situation... please excuse me, sir. Today, I couldn't switch on the camera because, because of uh, one, issues uh, in... That, uh, of after this. a decade, certain tribes, they didn't know we got independence at all. Because they, uh, in first place, they don't know what independence is at all. Because yes, we were sir. in such state, I don't know, it might be there existing in remote places. So, so this struggle still need to be done. We need to fight for our certain rights. Thank you for taking this topic and uh, doing it for the first time. Well done and good job. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So is there any guest, another guest? I know Manikandan, uh, would you like to try? Oh, yes, I, I will try. Mm. Okay. Um, again, a simple topic for you. Freedom is a right to live as you wish. Freedom is a right to live as you wish. Yes, uh, very thank you for giving this topic. Uh, yes, freedom is uh, freedom is uh, very uh, topic. Please, freedom is is the right to live as you wish. You want to change the topic? Yes. Do you want to change a better topic? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, what if you didn't get independence till date? Uh, what if you didn't get the independence? What would I have been doing? Okay. Any assumptions? Still, we want to get more struggles on the uh, we want to manage the very, very critical situations uh, like uh, we are uh, before uh, independence. Uh, uh, I saw some movies uh, before independence. Uh, uh, they are most, uh, they are very much struggling uh, in past days to get a very independence. So uh, if uh, leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, I will just uh, follow his uh, uh, his uh, steps to uh, get freedom uh, with Ahimsa's and uh, uh, right uh, uh, the path of the uh, what he what he follows uh, in the uh, past. Uh, so we want to just uh, justify all the situations and uh, we want to more uh, fight more with uh, uh, with Ahimsa's. Uh, we we want to just follow it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful speech. Good job. So I have one last topic. Shall I invite DTM Venu Kilagandan for the topic? I just want to bring a quote here from Mahatma Gandhi. To lose patience is to lose battle. To lose patience is to lose battle. Action. To lose patience, to lose battle. So that's not only he suggested, he practiced, practiced in his life also because he had been fighting for freedom not only not for five years or one year, right from the beginning. The moment he came to India onwards, he was fighting for that. So he had been maintaining that patience. He didn't give up. So we, the British are not giving freedom, so let us give up. No. He was patiently waiting for the right moment. Unfortunately, today we don't have that patience. Because most of the time we want everything um, instant. We are misusing the freedom. As the previous topic you asked, freedom is the right to live as we wish. That's wrong. Because freedom is, your freedom is you have to understand what is your freedom. Your freedom should not disturb others' freedom. You have the freedom till you touch others' nose. 
you don't have the freedom. So we have a mentality that I have the freedom. I can do anything. This country can provide anything. I want everything. No, it's not like that. Here, I would like to quote another great person, John Kennedy. Not ask what this country can do for you. Ask what you can do for the country. This is actually what we have to do. When we are, we are not maintaining the patience and we are asking everything from the country, you have to ask yourself what we are contributing to this country. Unfortunately, the India is the one of the best countries. Those who are living abroad, they can say that. But still we have one weakness. That's we are still remaining as a sentimental idiots. I'm sorry to say that. Because of that, we are being used as a puppets by the politicians and religious leaders. We have to not only decide emotionally, we have to sometimes think rationally that we have to learn. So we have to maintain patience and we have to think over whether it's right or wrong, for that we have to maintain patience so that we can win the battle, not from the enemy, from our own people. Thank you for the opportunity. I didn't, I didn't specifically select this topic. It just came on the way, but you cracked it very well. Uh, because uh, uh, many times, uh, the patients, as we know, uh, out of experience, what we call this maturity one point in time, we say we are patient in doing things. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, we need to be patient. We have a lot of complaints as such, but we need to be patient enough to look for the changes and we should be part of the change. So uh, maybe along with that, I, in continuation of what I asked, I want I have one more topic to, uh, to question. Uh, do you have Kalvat here? Can, uh, Kalvat, can you take up a table topic? Yeah, like me like, know. Okay, the topic is uh, just in continuation of what went in the past decade. Uh, you must be the change you wish to, you wish to see in, in the world. You must be the change you wish to see in the world. What do you okay, think? you must be the change you, you wish, wish to, to see in the world. Wish to see in the world. World, world. Okay, so you must be the change you know, see in the world. I can't expect the same, I mean, world to change, but I'm just looking for a change for an every individual. If we have to make the world change, first we have to change ourselves. One thing, it, it may be uh, two things. Uh, in terms of an small drops can create a ocean. So each one of you, whatever you are actually looking for a, for a world, you can't change the world. First, if you change from your end, then you can make it. For example, you you want to change certain things which comes to leads to your uh, society. The society will not change if you are not changed. I, not, I mean, most of the time uh, people say that uh, uh, what makes you to be a leader? The leadership qualities is not one you have to fight for something or you have to follow something. If someone is following you for a small things, even something is actually uh, in the road, if you just remove that and put it in the cabinet, if someone is following, then you are a leader. That change, if you want to bring it in the world, if you do that, the people will follow, then the change can be happened throughout the world. Thank you for the opportunity, Lakshmi Narana. We are not able to hear you. Okay. As, a, as you mentioned, the, we should go, we should lead by example. So that is what you've been uh, referring to this uh, in your speech. Thank you so much. And with that, I'm, I'm coming to the end of this table topic session. And uh, thank you so much uh, for taking this topic and uh, handing over the control back to our first master of the day. First master, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, TT master, Toast master, like me for conducting the TT session, fully aligning with the team. Thank you so much. Now, before moving on to the third part of our meeting, uh, let's see some facts about our national flag. We all know about tricolor flag, but how it got evolved. Before tricolor, what are the various flags we had in our country? 
Yeah. So the first flag that we see here was uh, started in 1906. It was first initiated in the place Kolkata. The, it has three strips and uh, Vardhe Madaram written. And after that, uh, in 1907, uh, there was a slight change. Uh, in that first strip, the seven star represents seven sages and one represents lotus. And moreover, the same. And 1917, uh, we had another flag uh, hoisted by Dr. Annie, ba Annie Basson and uh, Tilak. We have five red strip and four green strip. And in the top, we have that plus uh, symbol, which represent union, union of a country. And then 1921, when Gandhiji went to Hyderabad, Vijayawada, there was a youth, a student, designed this flag and uh, got suggestion from Gandhiji. This green represent Hindus, uh, red represent Muslims. Gandhi gave the suggestion to add this white to represent the other communities as well. And he also uh, gave the suggestion of putting the wheel, which means uh, progress of our country. And slowly it evolved to 1931, uh, same thing. But this time they said uh, there is no communal uh, representations. Uh, it moved to saffron, white, and green. And the same Gandhi wheels was there. And 1947, finally, the tricolor we have today uh, came uh, that we are currently following. So this is the small uh, history of our national flag that we are following. Moving on to the meeting, now let's get back to our third session. To conduct this session, I would like to call Toastmaster Palani Swami, uh, the general level to Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Sharat. Now we are moving into that uh, evaluation system for the prepared speeches. I would like to call Toastmaster Srikant Kutikrishnan to evaluate Toastmaster Guruvai Rupan speech. Uh, Toastmaster Srikant Kutikrishnan is a senior Toastmaster. Toastmaster he is in central government service for the past 34 years. He is a person in search of higher consciousness. Toastmaster Srikant Kutikrishnan, the stage is yours. Toastmaster Srikant, you are on mute. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you, General Evaluator. Toastmaster Guru Ayarapan, your speech is a very relevant speech considering the entire scenario the medical scenario that our country is facing right now is that we seem to be the capital of a diabetic country where the lifestyle diseases seem to be on the rise. So what you have delivered today is a call of action from each and every one of us to pledge that we are going to put our health as the number one priority to see that there is a reverse in this change. The way you opened your speech was very emotional. Two lives lost in a span of less than 18 months. That should have been really devastating to you. But still, you held your cool and you went on to say your personal experience, how you gained weight and how you started reducing it. And your father was there always as a morale booster to you. And this is something that was really influencing me that Yes, it is something that we need to take care of us. Though we think we do enough, but really it is not that enough. We need to do more. And the second one is the suggestions that you gave. The lifestyle suggestions that most of the youngsters who are working in the IT and BPO industry are facing is that they don't have proper meals. So what do we do? So you have suggested they can break their major meals into small eat or a small meal with a regular interval. And also you told us rest is very important, exercise and diet. A diet is to junk, uh, stop those foods and exercise to do moderately and a quality eight hour sleep. So you gave us a solution also. And to wind up, you call for an action saying that we need to pledge that we are going to take up our life and our health as a priority a very well presented speech. And on this independent day, I think this is very relevant. So
So if there is something that you could work on, is that it was a bit constrained for you because you had the microphone, your caller mic was there on your hand. So your, just, your, your gesture with your hand was restricted and you were not able to move around. And especially in the opening part, when you talked about two deaths that happened, you could have brought out more emotion. You could, have, you could have had an eyes that was welling up with tears. You could have choked your voice because that really conveys how important you feel. Not only you lost your loved one, but also you are telling us that take it serious. It is not something that you can be as it goes. No, it is important because money is not going to get you wealth. So all this put together, a complete summary of my entire speech is there was a call of action. You gave a very good message and also gave us how this has to be achieved. And also, if you could work around when a lot of emotions are involved, that you have to have little more gestures and your voice has to play a little bit with the pace and the pitch. And together, if you give this, I think this is a wholesome package that's going to stay with us for the rest of our life. Thank you very much. All the very best. And back to the general evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Srikant Kutikrishnan. Now I would like to call our distinguished Toastmaster Nina John to evaluate our distinguished Venu Nilagantan speech. DTM Nina John is the chartered member of Chennai Toastmaster Club. She is district director D82. She was, she was Mentorpool chair, currently parliamentarian district 120. DTM Nina John, the stage is yours. Thank you, General Evaluator, fellow Toastmasters and guests. So it's an absolute pleasure to evaluate DTM Venu's speech, connect with storytelling. What a story that was. I don't think any one of us will forget it because it was such a wonderful, poignant, tragic story. And I think uh, that's what storytelling is all about. Can you remember the story data? Yes, I think that one test was definitely passed. In terms of the speech, I think you could have gone straight into the story, right? I don't think it needed that introduction. You know, uh, if you look at the speech in isolation, all those remarks about 75 and 76, they're all are irrelevant, right? They make no impact on the speech itself. So what is your speech and what was the objective of your speech? The objective of your speech was to tell us the hundreds of personal tragedies behind independence. I think you did a great job with that, but I think you should have focused only on that. So that is one thing in terms of the structure. So I think you could have focused on that and therefore the ending would have been what price freedom or you know, a rhetorical question like that. When we are celebrating independence, what are we celebrating? And are we forgetting the tragedies? Some kind of conclusion like that, that makes people think. That was one. In terms of the rest, I love the way you use your stage space generally, especially for the courtroom scenes where you very clearly had Buddha Singh here, you had uh, Zainab here, and you had the child there, fabulous. Couple of places I think a little bit of improvement should have been there is when you said, you know, a train came in with 3,000 people dead and you had a nice smile on your face. Please, 3,000 people dead and you don't smile about it. You should look sad, we should feel sad. So aligning your facial gestures with the speech that you have, very, very important. So that is there. To some extent that alignment was there when you had Buddha Singh and his tears and all of that. So make sure you cover that adequately. In terms of um, voice modulation, overall very good, done beautifully. And I think uh, you really brought out a lot of aspects of the story simply by giving us details. Buddha Singh was, 40, uh, was a 40 year old Sikh. Zainab was a 19 year old young Pakistani Muslim girl. At that time they were still not Pakistani Indian thing, all of that. So a little more details like that add to the story. 
So overall, I would say great storytelling, avoid unnecessary details, stick to the focus of why you are telling that story and you will have a great storytelling experience for yourself and all of us, because I think you are a storyteller incarnate. Over to you, sir. Thank you, uh, distinguished uh, Toastmaster Meena John. Now I would like to request our the tag players to present the report. The first timer, Toastmaster Abilash. Toastmaster Abilash is a chartered accountant by profession. He loves traveling and playing badminton. Toastmaster Abilash, please present the timer report. as well as the outcounter report. A very warm good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. I'm here to present the timer and the accounters report for the day. Our Sergeant at Arms Toastmaster Palanchami took one minute and two seconds to complete his address, and he had one hour and one unnecessary and. Our presiding officer, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana, took three minutes and 17 seconds as against two minutes, and he had three plus hours in his opening address. Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Sharat, took three minutes and one second. And he had three hours and one pause in his Toastmaster opening address. Moving on, there was one small change in the agenda. So the idiom master came before the GE. The idiom master took two minutes and 37 seconds as against an allotted time of two minutes. And she had two hours and one unnecessary and. Now the general evaluator briefing took three minutes and 41 seconds. Now let me move on to the prepared speech session. The first speaker, Toastmaster Guruva Yurapan, took six minutes and 47 seconds as against an allotted time of seven minutes. Toastmaster Guruva Yurapan had three plus ands, ass, and sos in his speech, and he repeatedly used the word now. The second speaker, distinguished Toastmaster Venu Nilagandan, took nine minutes and 30 seconds to complete his speech as against an allotted time of seven minutes, and he had three plus sos and buts. Now moving on to the table topic session, the introduction of the table topic session, one minute and 50 seconds by the table topic master, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana. And it had three plus R source and one pause. Now moving to the actual speakers, I'm happy to share that all table topic speakers are qualified for voting. So they're all within time. Toastmaster Nagendra Bharti took two minutes and three seconds. And there was one slightly long pass without, other than which his speech was flawless. Toastmaster Palni Chami, our second speaker, took one minute and 46 seconds to complete his speech. He had two hours, two so's, and he repeatedly used two words, then and he. The third speaker today, Toastmaster Rajalakshmi, took one minute and 47 seconds, and she had three plus hours and so's, and she used the words because and then repeatedly. The fourth speaker, guest Amrita, took one minute and 42 seconds. She had one unnecessary usage of the words like and because, and she had three plus as and so's. Moving on to the fifth speaker, guest Manigandan took one minute and five seconds to complete a speech, and he had three plus ands, ands, as and so's. The sixth speaker, distinguished Toastmaster Venu, took two minutes and 20 seconds to complete a speech, and there were two as and repeated but and because usages. The final speaker, Toastmaster Kalvat, took one minute and 35 seconds to complete his speech. He had three plus as, one so, and one but. And his most favorite word was if. So there were around 40 usages of if in a one minute 35 second speech. Now let me move on to the evaluators. Toastmaster Shrikant took three minutes and 25 seconds to complete his evaluation. And he had three plus so's and ands two unnecessary buts and one unnecessary because. 
distinguished toastmaster nina john took exactly 3 minutes to complete her evaluation speech she had two sos one a but three plus ands just a couple of pointers from my side so you know when do we use and and but and when we do not use so and is basically used to connect two things and one important thing to notice you can never use and to start a sentence but when you use but it is only to mention any contradictory things that you might have and you are allowed to start a sentence with but so these are two pointers i wanted to share with you back to you mr general evaluator thank you toastmaster abhilash for the detailed report now i would like to call toastmaster kalvath to present the grammarian report toastmaster kalvath the stage is yours good evening uh, toastmaster and my guests special greeting to uh, general evaluator toastmaster kalni swami today we have seen uh, a number of good words and there is a rhyming words and uh, there are a few sentences which we normally won't do Uh, the good sentences what we have noticed today is uh, respiratory inspiration enthusiastic violence unit and diversity unity and diversity prospective vulnerable era and abuse call of action and isolation there is a uh, rhyming words used by one of the pt speaker fought brought and lost and uh, i hear this is two sentence we normally won't use one uh, one of the speaker used you have the freedom until you touch the other nose it is not a speech it is a movie so overall it is a good uh, session uh, toastmaster thank you so much for the opportunity thank you toastmaster kalvet now i would like to present uh, my general evaluation report the meeting started 17 minutes uh, delayed from the schedule because of the some internal issues in the location so some of the observations request online speakers uh, to mute and unmute at an appropriate time because two three speeches were started with when the mic was muted so request you to unmute and speak and less number of participant in the physical location uh, this this is a concern because we chose the location after getting the feedbacks from the members we request again members to attend the physical meeting because the physical meeting is the most essential part for the the toastmasters which joins and prepare the initial level or maybe for a senior members a physical location probably you know it is not really making a big difference but for a starting members like me a physical location is important and senior members present and their feedback will will enhance the meeting experience so when a distinguished toastmaster nina john and distinguished toastmaster nilakanthan when they are coming here they are not only giving their speeches they will also share their experience which will help us so request our members to support this and prepared speakers request to complete the speech in allotted time so th this will help to complete the meeting as per the schedule and table topic session i request uh, particularly guests to to volunteer and take up the topic because if some of you get a chance to interact with our toastmaster abilash he said that before 2 2 and a half years ago when he took up the first table topic he was not able to speak anything he, he said this openly so when when we look at his journey in 2 2 and a half years time how he is presenting flawlessly any topic you, we give any topic to him he, he will take one and a half minute to two minutes and present in a nice way so this comes because of his continuous practice so let us not feel shy or let us not feel fearful about taking the stage and presenting the speeches 
so request you to take the topic this is the place to learn this is the place to overcome the public speaking fear so let us not fear let us face it so this is my general evaluation report and thank you and over to toastmaster of the day thank you so much sir toastmaster palanasamy moving on uh, we come to the end of the meeting meanwhile the polls are going on i request uh, all the participants to vote for the best speakers best, best tt speakers best role players best tag players to conclude the last point of discussion today is what is the role of a good citizen what is the role of a good citizen uh, any uh, points that you have as audience how who is a good citizen what quality he or she should have huh? following all the rules following all the rules yeah obeying the laws paying the taxes exactly in yes uh, contributing for the development of the country what uh, i can do for the country yes voting voting uh, not not uh, by getting money from someone voting <laughs> like uh, we have to choose the leaders by properly analyzing what they have done for the people any other uh, points right almost i have three points in mind you told two points remaining one point i will share the third point i had is unity recently we had uh, fights between uh, that uh, hindu muslim somewhere and also there is some clash between uh, hindi speaking people tamil speaking people all those stuff so as a country we should respect all other religions respect all other people of states as a brothers and sisters and we should live with unity in diversity so that's the third point which i have to share so let us all be responsible citizen of our country and uh, make this independence day prosperous and make our country more prosperous and uh, one of the top developed country in the world with this i would like to uh, hand over the stage back to the presenting officer toastmaster lakshmi narayan thank you to smashtra the to smashtra sarat it was uh, it was a wonderful session a wonderful uh, we had a lot of information through your speech uh, you took a theme as independence day and you you stuck down to the theme very well and you had so much information for us to share especially the flags part i didn't know the histories uh, and again the debatable question about when mm -hmm. some independence day or 76 independence day is going to arise even if you say tomorrow we are going to fight the same thing uh, thank you so much Uh, and overall the meeting went on well uh, i should first apologize for the delay uh, i was i was the reason for the delay i couldn't start up so in spite of 10 to 20 minutes delay i just want to uh, apologize for all the person and thank you everyone who waited patiently for 10 minutes thank you so much and, and the meeting though it started a little late we are trying to meet the time okay, we almost came close to the time so now it's time to get feedback from the guests so do we have manigandan here guest manigandan hi manigandan so hi. you can give your feedback and suggestions about this meeting what went well what what can be improved upon this meeting yeah really i feel very happy to be here uh, as a part of uh, toastmaster club soon uh, i hope uh, i will get a i will get a better knowledge uh, and good leadership skills to uh improve myself uh since i am a production manager in a uh, tvs uh, sundaram group of industries since i am very much lagging in uh, communication and leadership skills crew so i chosen some uh, best uh, i hope uh, i got a best platform in my life to travel with uh, toastmasters club thank you so much for this opportunity and uh, be a part of uh, toastmasters club very very soon 
thank you so much thank you sir thank you so much manik and so you are uh, i know you are interested in this to the toastmaster fund uh, you can reach out to our uh, vp membership sarath uh, i know you have his contact number for a membership details as well yes yes thank you sir thank you uh, do you have a guest amruta Yes, sir. Yeah, I uh, can I have your feedback? Any suggestions to improve this meeting? Sir, uh, I know, sir, I don't have any uh, suggestions there because last week itself, we I think we had told some points, so that is what. So no feedback or suggestions. Sir. Yeah, so so how do you feel this meeting? Uh, do you do you prefer physical meeting or online meeting? Because you've been here physically meeting last time, right? Sir, yes, sir. Uh, more than the uh, online meeting, I would prefer physical meeting, sir, because uh, that would be more uh, interactive than online, sir. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, so please contact our uh, Master Sarath for any membership details. So okay, sir. Happy to help you out. Thank you so much. And now it's time to. Uh, I think we are done with this. Okay. Yeah. Um, Uh, hi abhishek i think uh, we are done with the guest feedbacks uh, thank you so much now it's time to um, announce the results uh, let's let's begin with the uh, uh, pack player <laughs> the best tag player today is the one who took who took the last minute in charge the timer and the off counter first must have been thank you very much the best Table topics speaker is none other than our uh, Toastmaster Nagendra Bardi sir. Congratulations. Sir. And the best role player between the uh, general evaluator, uh, Toastmaster, the table topic master is uh, Toastmaster Sarath. Okay, this one. Huh? Thank you. And the best evaluator between uh, uh, two evaluators and none other than our distinguished toastmaster Nina Jan. We have a ribbon for you now. thank you and finally the best speaker today is our toastmaster guru nayar guru ayrappa thank you so much uh, now we are coming to the end of the meeting uh, just just before uh, winding up the meeting uh, one suggestion or one request from people so i know it's a long weekend this week it's difficult for some of us to join this meeting but i i encourage our members to be <laughs> to attend this meeting uh, first uh, come for physical meeting you really enjoy this place we have we're going to have a very good snacks here and that's going to be one of the best motivator here so please come please do attend meetings as much i have to say this for our exam team as well but uh, i request all the members to please come for a physical meeting if not at least attend through online and uh, let's have a quality meeting uh, each week thank you so much and with that uh, i formally adjourn the meeting to next week same time thank you and all of you
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.